Hey there, it's Phil again. Um, I wanted to relate uh, just an incredible story that Napoleon Hill uh, relates in the chapter on desire in Think and Grow Rich. Uh, the kind of subtitle uh, within the chapter itself is that desire outwits Mother Nature. And the reason this story is so incredible is that it relates to Hill's own son, Blair, his youngest son, who was born uh, without ears. So he not only had the physical uh, disability of being disfigured, uh, but he, he was told by the doctors and all the medical profession that he was not able to hear and that his son would be a deaf mute all his life. But Hill refused to uh, accept that. And his desire, his intense burning desire, as he puts it back by faith, was that his son would not be a deaf mute. And as the son was growing up, uh, it became uh, apparent as he got older that in fact he could hear certain things. And this became most evident to Hill uh, when they, he and his wife had purchased a record player. And the son started he, to hear some of the sounds in the, in the record player, and in particular liked uh, a World War I marching song of the British Army called uh, It's a Long Way to Tipperary, which is kind of an ironic twist, I think, because um, that was what the song that the British soldiers would sing when they were traveling a long distance, and it's kind of uh, indicative of the fact that uh, Hill's son himself was going to have to travel along. This was going to be a long journey for him um, to uh, achieve whatever he was going to achieve in life with the, dis with the disability. So um, Hill relates as he began to see these uh, kind of improvements, if you will, that the outlook for, for him was still far from encouraging, but desire backed by faith, knows no such word as impossible. And this, it's interesting that in, in a very human moment, uh, Hill even questions himself, but that his own questioning and faith is, is reconfirmed uh, by his son. Despite the fact that all the philosophy I had examined clearly indicated that every adversity brings with it the seed of an equivalent advantage. I must confess that I had not the slightest idea how this affliction could ever become an asset. Reason had told Hill that plainly uh, there was no place to go, that his son uh, Blair was going to remain a deaf mute. But again, Hill writes, desire backed by faith, pushed reason aside, and inspired me to carry on. When Blair, his son, got a little older, he had decided on his own he was going to go out and sell newspapers, which he did. So Hill again saw this as a, a confirmation of the fact that, um, he could, that Blair was going to become self-sufficient one way or another. Truly, my own son, writes Hill, has taught me that handicaps can be converted into stepping stones on which one may climb towards some earth-worthy goal unless they are accepted as obstacles and used as alibis. Now, when Blair uh, got, graduated from school and then entered college, um, he came upon um, a gentleman who manufactured hearing aids. And so this was a real breakthrough for Blair, because Blair then uh, put on the hearing aid and found that for the first time he could truly hear sounds. And so he wound up actually becoming a very successful business person and earning a substantial amount of money by marketing this hearing aid, 
across the country. So Hill again writes, it is my duty and privilege to say I believe and not without reason that nothing is impossible to the person who backs desire with enduring faith. There is nothing right or wrong which belief plus burning desire cannot make real. These qualities are free to everyone. And as he looks back on the experience, Hill says there were three important factors here to consider. First, I mixed faith with the desire for normal hearing, which I passed on to my son. Second, I communicated my desire to him in every conceivable way available through persistent, continuous effort over a period of years. And third, he believed me, writes Hill. So this is just amazing. Um, and if this content, if you find this content valuable, then I would appreciate some feedback. Um, you can go click on the link below and where directed. And also, you might want to know about the daily Think and Grow Rich Mindset Call, which over 400 entrepreneurs worldwide participate in on a daily basis. And that information is below as well. So have a good day, and we'll see each other again soon.